Welcome back, Math Maniacs. Remember, if you have not subscribed to our channel, click that button below, and that way you will know when a new one is coming up. Like this one today, Place Value Battle. battle. All Love right, it. so this game, the object of this game is to create a three-digit number and then compare each digit's value to your partner's. So the scoring system will work like this. If your partner has a greater hundreds value or digit, he, he or she will score herself or himself three points. The tens will be two points and the ones will be one point. Why, you ask? Well, hundreds, a number always has three digits. Tens always has two digits and the ones always has one digits. So once you have scored 963, you have won the game. So let's take a look to see how this game can be played out. Okay. All right, everyone, to start this game, uh, my partner and I are gonna take a card in turn. Okay, so she took one, I took one, now I'm gonna take another one. And I'm gonna take my last one, which is my third. And I'm gonna look very carefully at my cards and create a three digit number. Hmm. I think I have it. Do you have it, Nadine? I do. I'm ready. All right, let's place our number down. Oh, dear. All right, so I have 887. And Nadine. I have 633. All right, but now we have to see who has won the place value battle. All right, Nadine, how many hundreds do you have? I have six hundreds. I have eight hundreds. That means I get three points because my hundred is higher, greater than Nadine's. So I get three points. Now we're gonna look at the tens. I have three tens. And I have eight tens. So again, who has the greater value? Me. Um. So I'm gonna give myself two points because tens have two digits, so I'm gonna give myself two points. And now we're going to the ones. The last one, I have three ones. And I have seven ones. Again, I have the greater number, so therefore I get myself one point because the one place has one digit. Two. Okay, for round two, I have created 682. I have created 679. So we're gonna compare our hundreds. First, so I have six hundreds. I also have six hundreds. Uh oh, so this is where the tricky part comes in. The person with the greatest number would win the battle. So when I look, it looks like Nadine has the greater number overall. So she is going to give herself three points. Now we're gonna compare the tens. I have eight tens. I have seven tens. <laughs> So I have the greater number, so I would get two points in my tens column. And I have nine ones. And I have two ones. So that means I get one point. Yeah. Two. Okay. Oh, okay, here's the third round, and let's just take a look to see who's won the place value battle. All right, I have 771. I have 845. Who has the greater hundred? Uh, so I have a seven, and Sylvia has an eight, so Sylvia! Oh, right on, I get three. All right, and the tens, I have seven tens. Sylvia, you have? Four tens. So I have the greater number there, so I would get two points in my tens column. And let's look at the ones. I have five ones. And I have only one. Oh my goodness. So now I actually have three ones. So now my ones is locked. I cannot add any more one pointers to my ones. So now I'm only looking at trying to battle in my tens column or my hundreds column. I wonder what strategy I might, might do. Think about that one. I hope you enjoyed Place Value Battle. Did you, Nadine? I love it. Oh, it was great, a great game. So fun. So if you would like, so if you would like to know uh, about our latest and greatest game, please subscribe to our channel. And remember, check out our website, mathmania.com where you will find all of our resources for 
free. free.